So for the probability, we have our x factorial here. So if I do five and then factorial, that should give me five times four times three times two times one, which is 120. In the probability menu itself, we have combinations, permutations, we have seed, which takes what's in the X register and uses that to generate a seed for the random number generator. And then we have the random number generator, which is typically used in programming. And that just generates a random number between zero and one. So if I hit that a few times, I get random numbers. For combinations, so let's say that we have 24 people and we want to form groups of six. How many unique groups of six are there? And with combinations, the order does not matter. So we do 24, enter six, put a probability combination. We've got 134,596 possible combinations. Now permutations is different. The order does matter there. So how many different possible permutations are there? Do the same thing, 24 and then six, and the probability and permutations. Then we get almost 97 million different uh, permutations where the order of the people, uh, different orders of the same six people, or a group of six people from those 24. So that's the probability menu.